Razer has kind of been getting into the lightweight scene, especially with their recent launches of their favorite gaming mics with the Viper and the Death Adder. And to that extent, we would say that the entire industry as a whole has kind of been associating the Pro moniker with lightweight. So we now have the Basilisk V3 Pro, and this isn't like the rest. This takes a much more classic approach to what the Pro moniker usually means. Now right off the box, you'll be greeted with a really familiar design, and that's no surprise really. This is the Basilisk design language true and true, and with the new V3 Pro, it is still exactly that. But before we get into the mouse itself, we do want to mention a few key accessories that you can purchase separately to augment the mouse, because with all those accessories, that is what really brings all the features that this mouse can bring to the table. For one, if you flip to the bottom of the mouse, you'll find a small little round cover that when open, reveals the small compartment that holds the hyperspeed dongle. This is a plus point in our opinion, because for one, it makes it travel friendly and two, it's a secure way to store the dongle so you wouldn't lose it easily. But anyways, that's not the key point here. Razer sells the wireless charging puck, which will replace that standard round cover and this is Qi certified. So with this upgrade, you can now charge the Basilisk V3 Pro wirelessly with any compatible Qi charger. Really nice. But if you want everything to be Razer themed, you can also opt for the new Razer Mouse Dock Pro. This package not only includes the wireless charging puck, but it's also the wireless charging pad in it by itself and it also houses the Razer Hyperpoling 4KHz transceiver. So yes, this mouse is very much capable of that wireless 4KHz polling rate should you really want that enhanced wireless performance, which you can achieve with the new dock or just the transceiver itself. But do note that it does kind of come at a cost, which we'll touch upon later. For now, let's get back to the mouse itself, the Basilisk V3 Pro. And as mentioned, if you're somewhat familiar with the Basilisk lineup and if you tried the wired Basilisk V3, this is exactly the same mouse, except for the fact that it's wireless. Which means you get that same iconic silhouette with the sharp edges that's mainly designed for right-handed users. Most of the mouse will also be using the matte black textured plastic which provides a really comfortable experience without inducing much fingerprints, and the side walls where your thumb, ring finger, and pinky would usually rest will have that rubberized texture for even added control. In terms of grips, it is a medium-sized mouse and it has the exact same dimensions as its wired sibling, which means a claw or palm grip is usually the way to go here for most people. On that note, the mouse weighs in at 112 grams or just under 4 ounces. This isn't a light mouse by any means or any stretch of the imagination. This is actually probably the heaviest in its class. But yes, as mentioned, it is exactly that. This takes the classic approach to what a pro moniker on a product usually means. It's just jam-packed full of features. First of all, Razer has spent no expense in chroma RGB here. You get plenty of it. The Razer logo lights up, so does the scroll wheel and the parameter of the mouse which gives you that really nice and diffuse underglow effect. Next, you also get plenty of buttons including that hyper scroll tilt wheel and that multi-function trigger that's really ergonomically placed. Alongside the main goods such as the latest Focus Pro 30K optical sensor, Gen 3 optical mouse switches, support for hyperspeed wireless and everything else we mentioned earlier, such as the hyperpoling 4KHz and the Qi wireless charging capabilities. This is basically a mouse that's feature packed to the brim with no regards to weight whatsoever exactly what Pro usually meant for gaming mice in the past. Now if you're curious what the switches, the scroll wheel and the additional buttons sound like, here's a listen.
for those of you who are unfamiliar with the hyperscroll tilt wheel, this basically allows you to toggle between free spinning or tactile, whichever you prefer with just a toggle of a button. But perhaps the most interesting mode is something that can only be enabled via Synapse, and that is Smart Rail. In this mode, if you scroll slowly, it'll be a tactile, and you can feel every bump or click. But the moment you flick the wheel, it will automatically switch to free spinning mode and you will do so until it slows down, in which it will also automatically switch back to tactile mode. You can actually hear the hook or clutch engaging when that happens. Now I pretty much got used to it when I was using the wide bassless V3 so it's not too funky to me, but if you're somewhat new to this, well, it will definitely take time to get used to. But again, we do have to mention that this feature can only be toggled via Razer Synapse. So if you're not a really a fan of Synapse per se, well, that feature will be locked. Overall though, if you're just talking about the performance of the mouse itself, for general usage, for gaming and whatnot, it performs admirably. Razer Hyperspeed Wireless simply works like a charm, and everything just feels on point. While I do prefer lighter weight gaming mice like the Logitech G303 Shroud or the SteelSeries Aerox 3 Wireless, I do still find the Bestless V3 Pro to be really comfortable to use. Interestingly enough, if you're someone who finds that you aren't as accurate with a lightweight mouse simply because of the lack of weight, a heavier mouse might actually be more useful for you. I personally actually use at least 9600 dpi, and yes, all my in-game settings never have the sensitivity below 1, so it is true 9600. For myself, I do find mice weighing around 70 to 80 grams to be the sweet spot, anything below that and I do have to control my muscles a little better, and anything above that, I can actually up the dpi to 12800 with not much issues. But I'm probably the odd one here, so take that as you will. By this point, let's talk about something that's really important, battery life. With all the RGB off and running at 1000Hz polling rate, you can get up to 90 hours of battery life. The one that enhanced 4000Hz polling rate instead, that will drop the battery life down significantly to just about 24 hours. Now if you like your chroma RGB at the default brightness setting, that will net you about 24 hours on 1000Hz polling, and that number drops to the single digits once you have it at the max brightness and 4000Hz polling rate. Our recommendation? Well, basically keep the RGB off and just stick to 1000Hz polling rate. That's usually the way that I'll run things, so yeah. Now finally, we have to talk about price, and right off the bat, well, this has the Pro moniker, so with that, expect a Pro level price. For just the best list V3 Pro alone, they will set you back 160 US dollars or 250 Singapore dollars. Now if you want the add-on wireless charging puck, that's an additional 20 US dollars or 33 Singapore dollars. But you can also get it in a bundle with the mouse, which will cost you 170 US dollars or 268 Singapore dollars. Or you can get the mouse dock pro instead, which also includes that wireless charging puck, and that will retail for 70 US dollars or 120 Singapore dollars. Again, there's also a bundle with the mouse which will set you back 200 US dollars or 320 Singapore dollars. Do note that these bundles seem to be a promo price for now, so we aren't sure how long they will last, but well, do take note. All in all, we have to say that we are pretty impressed with the Razer Bestless V3 Pro, and this is especially so considering where the industry is kind of heading towards. Some of the choices might be polarizing for sure, but not everybody wants or prefer a lighter weight mouse, and there are plenty out there who actually want something like this. More features, more RGB, not a single care for weight. If this checks all the boxes in your list, well, this should be a serious consideration. Because this, well, honestly, it's just a great mouse. A bit the price. You do have to fork out a little bit for it, so definitely do take note. In any case, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. If you'd like to, do check out the affiliate links as well. If you do, thanks for the support. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Till the next one. See ya.